Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch and today we've got a cool tutorial of sorts and this is cool because basically you need to have zero skill to follow along. So if you want to create animated anime style characters, uh, this is going to be about the easiest way you possibly can. And we're going to use a pair of tools. We're going to use Vroid and we're going to use Deep Motion and that's because Deep Motion just recently got Vroid support and what we're going to do is create an animation somewhat like what you see here on screen. So we're going to create the character and we're going to apply animation to it and you're going to create all of this yourself sort of and it is going to be about as easy as you've done anything should take about 10 minutes tops all right so first off we're going to start off with the character for doing this part we need the product Vroid studio the cool thing is Vroid is available for windows and mac it's also available on download on steam which may make it run on linux i'm not sure if that works out in this particular case but Vroid studio is completely free on top of that of course we are going to use deep motion deep motion has a free tier available that's what we are going to use today uh, it does limit you to 30 seconds a month of animation. But if you think about it, 30 seconds of animation is actually a pretty fair amount of time um, with a walk cycle normally being like one to two seconds type thing. So you could get a decent number of animations in for the free tier. Uh, and we're going to need an animation. So Deep Motion works by using video. Uh, you could record yourself. You want to get your entirety in the shot. I have this. Um, content library available to me. So this is what I'm using myself. Uh, we're gonna have to trim that down so we get just the individual frames we want. So in the end, we want to take this animation right here, this video, and come on. All right, so you can see here, this is a 10 second video. So there, it keeps going. We only want one cycle of the walk cycle. So what we did was just opened it up. Uh, I used QuickTime in this case, and just applied a trim to it. So we got it down to pretty much just a like a looped frame of walk cycle animation. All right, so we're gonna take that guy as well. Obviously you can get out your video recorder, record yourself or someone else doing the motions you want to animate and then um, you, you can use those accordingly. Just make sure you get the entire uh, subject in the shot and you are good to go. And then what you do is you upload them up to deep motion. But first we need to create our character or an avatar. The one we saw earlier on, I created this way. Uh, creating an avatar in Vroid Studio is super simple. Basically you, you just come on in, you say create new, um, female or masculine, not my choice of terminology. Um, well, I guess it would be feminine and masculine, my, me being an idiot. Now, I do find that this actually runs kind of slow on a Mac. Uh, it might be better in your particular area. But really, this is, if you've ever used... Um, a character creator in a video game, uh, you're gonna be right at home here. Basically, you start off with a basic character like this, you can pick a variety of different faces, or you can drill down uh, and get into a very individual level of detail if that is what you wish. So you, want, you see here, we can switch out the eyes, but for everything here, you can get even more detail. So we can come in here, okay, we can apply a color like so, and have uh, that particular aspect being lit up. Or you can actually come in here straight out and edit the texture. And this allows you to uh, basically paint the texture directly uh, right down here, if you so wish. So you've got full control over everything we're seeing, your character clothing, um, their uh, skin tone, everything like that can be individually painted if you so wish. Uh, it will go back and give this person a normal set of eyes as opposed to our creepy red shot. Oh, no, our bloodshot eyes are still in there. Uh, come in here, you do hairstyles as well. You can pick a basic hairstyle like so, and then you can accessorize. So we could go ahead and uh, add a ponytail to the, actually, she got, got a ponytail. Let's add a bun here so you can see like so uh you can also add in say for sides let's add some sideburns in and so on all of the hair colors are configurable down here you can actually even paint or draw individual strands of hair if you so wish to do so come in again you got control over the body type you can customize it also if you wish you got control over all the various different things down here body size and so on uh apply an outfit again these can all be individually edited so if you want to come in here and edit the um the textures on this one you can directly paint directly on the model if you so wish you can add a couple of accessories and there are not a ton of accessories available basically glasses uh, or um, cat ears or bunny ears type of thing. Uh, you can see how it looks like there, but you create the character you want. Now this character looks like crap. So what I'm gonna do is go back to the base model selection. I'm not going to save this guy, and I'm just gonna take one of their pre-made templates. So what we have actually looks kind of good. 
All right, so give this a second. It's going to load in this character. Same process, though. You've got control over all the various different pieces using sliders like you would in a video game. And here is our generated character. Once you're happy with it, basically just click this guy right here and export it as VRM. By the way, there are VRM uh, plugins available for Blender and Unreal Engine. Sorry, Unity, maybe Unreal. Uh, so you can use these directly in your game if you wish, or you can bring them into uh, the Blender game engine and work from there. But in this case, what we're going to take, it, this is a rigged character but it is not an animated character as of yet. So once we get this guy exported, by the way, again, some performance issues. I don't know if it's a Mac-specific thing, an M1 Mac-specific thing, or if it's going to be like this across all platforms, but I do find some uh, lagginess in the user interface. But here we are. You can see this is going to create a 32,000 polygon character, which in my opinion actually isn't that bad. But if you want, you've actually got some uh, polygon reduction options available here. Same for materials, same for the bones. But I'm good with that. It's pretty decent on the whole. Uh, give this guy a name, uh, my char. Uh, you give it other details if you wish, and we'll go ahead and export that guy out. Pick the location, all right, desktop works for me, and save your character. And then again, let this spin for a bit. It will export that guy out, and we are now done creating our character. So that is how you would go about creating your 3D character. Now we're going to go ahead and animate our character, and that means deep motion. Now, if this is a free account that you're seeing in action right here, so you can get the exact same thing, and it's animate 3D we want. So there's a couple of processes we're going to go through here. First, we're going to go into 3D models. You can have up to three characters with the free tier, and we're just going to go ahead and create a new one. So we're going to go upload, and I'm going to browse. I'm going to go to my desktop, and then there is my car.vrm. So there is VRM support directly inside of Deep Motion now, which makes this entire process very, very simple. And we'll go ahead and let that upload. These things actually don't take too, too long on the whole. It should be pretty much done. Uh, like so, come on, you can do it. You can do it. Okay, so this takes a little bit longer than I was expecting, but again, it's not extremely long, or if it is, I'm just going to edit this down so that it doesn't look as bad. Uh, but this process, it's um, the entire thing about Deep Motion is it's all uh, server side. Okay, so that's not too bad. It's all server side uh, machine learning stuff. So you're running these things on their particular servers. Our model is now in place and available. There is my chart of VRM. And now what we want to do is create an animation for this person. And now at this point, what you do is you take that animation file right here. So there is the original. There is the one we cut down called walk cycle. And I'm just going to go ahead and we'll browse for that guy. I think that's in my downloads folder. Yep. So send up your uh, video that you're going to use as your um, basic, uh, this is the animation you want to apply. So I could also have jumping in there, shooting, all the actions you want. Just do keep in mind, uh, with the free tier, you have a 30 second limit on the month. Um, so there we go. That's two seconds used for this walk animation. This is the model we are going to use. Uh, you have a couple of options down here. You can have it spit out an FBX file, which I don't even think you can turn that off at this point in time, but I'm going to turn physics filter on. You can see by the details here, um, so it just kind of removes self collisions and clipping. I play around with these settings. There's no real limit to what you can do at this point in terms of your tier. You could create as many of these as you want. It's the amount of uh, characters you can upload and the amount of time of animation per month where you are limited. And once you're good with that, you go ahead and create it. So we're not doing face tracking or anything like that. Uh, we don't have foot um, locking on or anything. And then we're going to go ahead and start the job. Initialization normally takes about two or three seconds. And then the rest of this process is entirely dependent on how long of an animation you uploaded. Uh, but what it's basically doing is taking your video and turning it into an FBX file and behind the scenes with the bones animated. Uh, your character itself was rigged as part of the upload process. So uh, when you're working in uh, Vroid Studio, you can't see it here, but there's actually bones being generated. Uh, there's some details of the bones right here. So you can get bones are actually being created for uh, facial morphs and for the hair and so on. Um, and we'll let this go ahead and run. This actually took, oh, okay, the progress bar just really sucked. All right, so here we go. It just went ahead and created our animated 3D character. We're going to see a preview of that result right here. And there you go. 3D animated character, fully textured fully animated. So there's the source video in the background. Now you're going to have one piece of work here. Uh, and there are some plugins and tools out there to help you with this. And I'm not going to cover it in this particular tutorial. But you're going to notice the end of our walk cycle in the beginning of our walk cycle aren't seamless. 
Um, you either want to nail that in your source video so that you stop and start at the same point so that when you loop your animation, it will look flawless. Otherwise, you're going to have to do a little bit of cleanup in your tool of choice. But once you've got your end result, I think that looks pretty darn good, to be honest. Uh, we're going to come over here and we'll just do a download. When you download, you've got a couple of options. You can bring it down as FBX, uh, BVH, which is, uh, I forget the bio vision or bio human. It, it's basically this motion capture format and GLTF, GLB, which by the way, you can import directly into the Godot game engine and you're good to go. And I'm just gonna go ahead and download that guy right there. It just downloaded it, imported. So let's go back over here to our Blender uh, scene. We're gonna do a new scene just generally. Yeah, we're not gonna save that guy. And bye bye default cube, you have been deleted. So file, and then we will do import and it's a GLB. You may have to go into preferences and turn GLB on. Uh, generally, you don't have to. I think it's now a default setting. Uh, so downloads, there is our walk cycle underscore default file that's been imported. There's some options over here, but nothing you need to do. Just go ahead and import those in. Let's switch over here to EV cycles or EV rendering mode, and let's see how our character turned out. All right, there you go. So we've got a fully textured uh, rigged character inside of Blender, fully animated. Now, what you might wanna do is turn off the bones because uh, they look a little bit bad from here. Uh, we're gonna deselect our character. There you go. Looks picture perfect. Exactly what we started with, we ended with, and let's see how the animation turned out. Not bad. So let's go ahead and see that right there. So how many frames of animation do I have? Looks like about 50. All right, so let's do that to 50. All right, hit play. There you go. So like I said, you're going to want to go ahead and clean up the, the walk cycle. So there's a little bit of a flame, uh, a flame, a frame glitch at the end because it isn't completely seamless. That'll take, a, a, there's some tools that can automatically do that for you, or you have to come in and do a little bit of animation editing on the hold to the keys that are driving this. But yeah, that is pretty impressive. There is some issues going on here. You can see we've got a little bit of clipping going through the clothing there. Uh, I'm not sure that that would be easily fixed with this particular outfit. So you might have to do some cleanup. You might have to rotate the, the arm bone right here out a little bit to so that it doesn't do that. But again, you have a fully rigged character. So let me turn bones back on. So there's nothing to stop you from editing after the fact. So you can see here, we've got various different bones available uh, that we can go ahead and um, you know manipulate them, get our animation looking as nice as we want. So yeah, that is the extent of the process. So again, there are a couple tools involved. First one is Vroid Studio. I'll have this in the linked article down below showing you how to go ahead and do all this stuff. Then we've got Deep Motion. Again, free account. Uh, you can get up to uh, 30 seconds per month of animation there. Uh, but if you want to come in here, so you can you can go up to 180 seconds uh, for uh, nine dollars a month kind of thing but there is your limit 30 seconds or 30 poses by the way poses are uh, you can actually send up a single image frame as opposed to an animation and have it create a pose from that if you're making stills as opposed to animations but as you can see here a variety of different prices here if you need like almost infinite amounts of animation yeah you can get up to this level right there so that is the deal uh it's uh pretty easy on the whole literally it, it without the explanation and waiting for uh, progress bars and, and the application and such it probably took five minutes actual time to create this model with those textures and this animation and that ladies and gentlemen is pretty impressive in my opinion. And you don't need to have any skill at all to do this. So let me know what you think. Uh, and that's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.